Okay, so I just finished watching this video on Facebook about a type of math called like location or area math or something, area location math. I don't know, it's ridiculous. I think it's a part of Common Core. I'm going to show you how to do math, multiplication math, the old school way, which is a lot more effective, a lot more efficient. Okay, fourth grade parents, so in class, your children have been learning how to do area model to solve multiplication problems. This is very different from the way that we were taught in school, so I kind of wanted to give you guys some tips so you can help them if they're having trouble. So I'm going to write the problem out so you can see it. 35 times 12, and then you make sure it's vertically aligned, right? like that, it's a little, a little bit easier to see. So first you're going to do 5 times 2 is 10, and because it's a number above 9, it carries over to the next column. So you, I'm going to put a 1 above the 3, and then we're going to do 3 times 2, which is 6, and then add the 1, so we have 70. So first thing is we have our multiplication problem, 35 times 12. The first thing we need to do after that is expand these two numbers. We need to break it down into its 10s and its 1s. I've got three tens, which is 30, and five ones, so that is 30 plus five. 12 is one ten plus two ones. Okay, so that's step one. The next step would be to draw a large box. And then for the next number, we add a zero, and then it's five times one, and then again, because it's not above 10, there's no number to carry, then it's three times one, which is three. So now we add 70 plus 350, which gives us 420. So, and the way you do that, obviously zero plus zero is zero, seven plus five is 12, carry the one, and that's how we get the four in that column. Okay, and on this box, we're gonna put both of our expanded numbers. So on the top, I'm gonna put 30 plus five, and on the side, I'm gonna put 10 plus two. Where your plus signs are, I want you to draw lines through the middle and down it. And then in the very corner, we're still multiplying, so I'm gonna put a big multiplication sign. Starting with our very first number on the top, we say 10 times this, 10 times that. So first we're gonna do 10 times 30. Sometimes it gets a little tricky when we um, have those extra zeros on there when we're multiplying by a 10. So I like to say one times three is three, and how many zeros do we have? We've got two, so we attach them to the end of the number. So 10 times 30 is 300. We did 10 times this, 10 times that. 10 times five is 50, so it goes in the first box. And then we do two. We go down to the two because we're done with the 10. Two times this, two times that. So two times 30. Two times three is six. And between both of these numbers, I've only got the one zero, so I attach it to the end. Two times 30 is 60. Two times this, two times that. Now I'm gonna do two times five. Two times five is 10. I filled up all my numbers on the inside. Now all I have to do is add them up. So over here I'm gonna add. 300, and I like to check them off as I go, 50, 60, and 10. Make sure you line up your places too. Zero plus zero plus zero plus zero, those are zeros all the way down, so zero. Zero plus five is five, five plus six is 11, 11 plus one more is 12. Bring that 2 and carry that 100. 3 plus 1 is 4, and that is your answer. 35 times 12 equals 420. 
So 420 is the answer. What did that take? Less than one minute and a half, and I was explaining it. So if I, if I was just doing this, writing it out, and not explaining it, it would have taken me even a shorter amount of time. So yes, Common Core math is garbage. It needs to end, and kids are getting confused, and it needs to stop because when it comes time to take the SAT or other type of placement test, they're going to be spending 10 minutes on a multiplication problem. There's no way they're going to be able to do geometry, trigonometry. I don't think calculus is an SAT, but no, this is not good. Stop it, stop it, stop it.